always gives us that nice little reminder, doesn't it? Um, okay, let me just get this set, you guys, and we'll be good to go. Um, hold on, what is my computer doing? You guys, I always tell you this, just know that you don't have to be an expert at this kind of stuff, okay? <laughs> because when it comes to IT, I am far from it. Okay, I see some new faces on here tonight. So first of all, I just want to introduce myself, you guys. If you've never hopped on a Sunday night call or tips from the top with us, my name is Sarah O'Connell, and I'm an ambassador diamond. I've been with It Works almost 10 years, you guys, almost a decade, which is so crazy because I always talk about this. Like, when I started, I had no idea that this could even be a career. And now I've almost been doing this business, working from my phone, from home, from social media for almost as long as I have been a nurse and working in the hospitals and working night shift and all that stuff. So kind of crazy to even think about, but I'm super excited about tonight. Um, instead of just hearing from me, we have a really special guest on tonight and Kara Heinzler. Did I say your last name right? Yep, you're, yep, you're perfect. I did it? Okay. Um, she is hopping on with us tonight. And here's the thing, you guys. I Sometimes I'm hesitant to ask people to pop on. And you guys know I'm actually very picky of who I ask to hop on. Um, but just knowing that people are very, very busy. And Kara is a busy gal, okay? So she is a former teacher. She is a busy mama of four. Um, and she started her business back in 2015. And she's a presidential, not just one time, times two. Okay, so she's got her husband's account also at Presidential, which is just, that's so incredible. It's so crazy, just what we are able to do with this. So I'm going to definitely let her share her story. But first of all, you guys, I just want to share why I even reached out to Kara, because I always think that this is important to share. I've known her as a sideline for a super long time in this business. And really, you guys, truly, one of the main ways that a lot of us, if you're like, how the heck do you meet people on your sidelines? It's honestly going to events and going to things that corporate puts on to us and we end up at the same place. And we're just not afraid to have conversation with other people there. And I will strongly recommend that to every single person here. Kara would probably say the same thing because it's crazy as you continue in this business, some of your sideline friends that you make that you make are probably going to be some of your strongest business partners. And I am honestly so forever grateful for that. So I'm going to brag on her a little bit because Kara is super humble and she would never say this herself, but she is super hardworking. She's focused. Like I told you, she is so incredibly humble. She has accomplished a lot, but continues to dream big for herself and her team. She leads her team. I watch her do this every single day, day in and day out with heart, pours into them. Um, and one thing that I have always said is, Kara, you're so dang consistent. And obviously that pays off because she's been recognized as a top income earner for several years in a row. But her commitment and love, oh, if you're not muted, can you just mute yourself? Sorry, I'm really bad at like paying attention to who that is. But um, what I was saying is that one thing that really stands out too is that that I absolutely love is her commitment, love, and faith, not only in this business and knowing the potential that is behind it, but also our company, it has just never wavered. For as long as I have known her, it has never wa wavered. She's just consistent as can be. And so here's the thing, you guys, I don't know about you, but those are the type of people who not only do I want to follow, but they're the type of people that I want to copy. They're the type of people that I'm inspired by. And those are the kind of people that I want you to be hearing and learning from. Okay, so that is why I asked her to hop on so that you're not just hearing from me tonight. But Kara, will you just start with sharing your story and just how you found it works and why you got started and what it's done for you and your family? Yes, well, thank you for that sweet introduction. I did not expect that, <laughs> but um, that was so sweet. But yeah, you guys, so I'm Kara Heinzler and thanks for having me tonight. I started in June, 2015 and you guys, if I start to cut out, Sarah, just interrupt me because my service, I live in the boondocks for real, you guys. So um, I started in 2015. I was a former teacher. I was blogging for a company and I had this uh, girl that reached out to me on Facebook so many times, you guys. And she was like, you should do this business. And I was like, I would never ever <laughs> drop a one in the chat if you started like that. I was like, I would never do that. And so I 
um, still was watching her and my cousin did it and I saw other people doing the business and like people would try and they would post like two things, right? Like two days. And then I would be excited and start to watch him and they would quit. And so I told her, I told this girl, I feel so bad, you guys, everything. I was like, I have a no compete contract, which I did, but I still could have done the business. And I gave her every excuse in the book. And then one day, you guys, I'll never, ever forget it. I'm sure all of you guys have, because you guys are all in this business, you have this moment. But I was laying in my bed and I was watching the fan go round and round. And I was like, I'm so tired of like, having way more months than money, right? I'm so tired of like checking my bank account, of going to the grocery store and being like, okay, am I putting this on my debit card or am I putting it on my credit card? Like to pay it off next month or whatever, you know? So I decided if nothing changes, then nothing ever changes. And what I was doing, I have my master's degree, by I'm highly educated, but it just wasn't working, right? I was making good money, but it just costs a lot of money to live. And so, um, I decided to do something different. And so I just, I literally messaged her the day of my husband's birthday and was like, okay, I want to do this business. And he was taking a shower and I walked in and was like, Hey, I'm going to do this business. And he's like, no, you're not. And I did it anyway, you guys. And I got my customers. Um, I think back then it might've been six. I don't remember. And like my first 24 hours. So then I literally stole a social, which I do not recommend and signed him up as a stranger. <laughs> without him knowing because I was like, I need a distributor, right? I already sent my customers and started to work his business from the beginning. But my husband was my number one critic. And so if you have anyone like that in your life, I highly recommend someone who is super successful was just like, you need to put your blinders on and just don't talk to him about the business and just work the business. Because once you, you have to stop saying where you're going and just get there. And once you get there and he sees the money and he sees the success and he sees what it's doing for your, like for your family, then his faith will catch up. Cause it's not that he doesn't support you. It's just that he doesn't want to set you up for failure. Does that make sense? And so if you guys have someone like that in your life, it's just because they love and care about you. And so it doesn't mean that they necessarily um, don't want you to do the business. They just don't believe in the business. Does that make sense? But they believe in you. Because you would be asking questions like, how do you even know you're going to get paid? <laughs> Drop a two in the chat if anyone's ever had someone say that to them. They're like, he's like, how do you even know you're going to get paid? How do you know this isn't a scam, right? And I just was like, I mean, I don't know. I just, I know. <laughs> And so, yeah, there's lots of you guys. I love that. Okay. So just keep going, but just get quiet. So I would do, I would go and take baths at night when I put my kids to bed and I would watch like the zooms like this, like when I was in the bath or I would reply to messages when I was walking back, we used to live in like a two story house. So when I would walk back from like tucking my kids in my bed until I went to bed, I would reply to messages. And then when I woke up, I would send my messages and post. And he didn't really have social media, so I didn't have to worry about that part. But um, I, cause he didn't really know what I was posting, but I did just keep going. And so I can say, I, I highly recommend that if you have someone in your life and you're new, even if you're doing this or seasoned or whatever, you can block them from your posts on Facebook or Instagram, like whatever you have to do to get that out of your head and just put your head down and get to work. Because I promise you, as soon as you're successful, they'll be, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you didn't listen to me. That's what he tells me now. So, um, you guys. That, sorry, that was kind of long, but that's how I started the business. And then I promoted to Double Diamond eight months, of, eight, yeah, eight months in the business. And then I promoted his account shortly after that to Double Diamond. And I kind of always just worked our account side by side. And then I sat for two years in the business at Double Diamond. And so if you've ever sat at a rank, I totally know how that feels. And what I did, Pam Sauter had asked me that. Yeah, you too. <laughs> how many years did you sat at your rank, Sarah? Too. Oh, yeah. They know. So, they, you guys they know I got stuck at Double Diamond too for a while. I tell them, I'm like, but listen, the growth that I had between Double Diamond and Triple Diamond, even though it took me what felt like forever, literally took me to presidential and ambassador. So, I always say, like, embrace where you're at. It's okay. But, okay, keep going. Oh, that's so good. Um, it's so true, you guys. And that's what I was just going to say, Sarah, the same thing is that. What I did during those two years, Pam Souter had, had me on a call once and she's like, what did you do? Like, how did, like, how did you get through that two year gap? And I was like, 
literally what I did is I threw my chart away because I had a bunch of people on my chart that were not working and that I was begging to do the business. And I had lots of talkers, but no runners, right? <laughs> and so I threw my chart away and I just started a new chart and I focused on my own business again. And so it was like, just like I was new, right? So I was like, okay, I need, back then we had a five distributors. So I was like, I need five distributors. And then I think I left my husband on and like maybe my mom. And then, so I was like, okay. And I just started from the beginning and I did so much personal development. You guys, I read one to three books every single month for two years. And that is what changed everything. I went from a broken poor mindset <laughs> to realizing what my potential was. And you guys, I didn't even really know why I needed a strong mindset, but then things happened years after that. And I was like, dang, it's, it's a good thing I did all that personal development. I would like be in a psychiatric ward. <laughs> and so you guys, God always knows what you need before you need it. You just have to do the work. And so if you're in a place where you're like, I'm really not attracting who I want into my business or just start reading books. Like that's what, that's my biggest tip for you is read books, watch the secret, do whatever you can to work on yourself and the rest will catch up, but you have to do the work. The self work is the most important and you're going to do it for a while before you see the results. But once you start to see the results, it's so worth it. Okay. So I said that for two years and then I went triple and prez like boom, boom. And then my husband's account when I went press, he went triple. And then he went press shortly after that. And we always joke because his team is, my whole team is strong and amazing, but his team has three to three, like working legs. And we always joke that he could possibly hit ambassador before I do. <laughs> but, um, but my other leg is given my other two legs are giving him a run for his money right now. So Anyway, I just, wherever you are in your business, you guys just embrace it and know where you're going and you will get there. That's my biggest tip. But I want to go back real fast, Sarah, because we're getting ready for conference and things. Yes. And you guys, um, when I started in June and December, I told my team this, they all know, I was paid as an executive. So even though I had an Emerald highest rank, I was paid as an executive. And I always, always tell my team this, do not quit whatever happens the next two months just keep going and work on where you want to be not where you're at and the reason why is because after that you guys I went to conference so go if you can go even if you can't afford to go like figure out a way to make it work and get there or get to an event and be around people and I was paid as a diamond in February and then a double diamond in March okay so I went from executive paid as rank two double diamond in two months. I went from like a $280 check, I think, or something like that to like $6,000. Okay. That's just my account. But I didn't even include my husband's. And the reason a hundred percent why is because I went to conference. I know that. And I was around the fire and I was like, if they can do this, I can do this too. And like, if you guys see Sarah and I sitting here, we can do this and go president ambassador. You guys can too. There's no difference between you all and us. It's just like, just the work. It's just a lot of work, but you guys, it's so worth it. What we do, the work that we do is so much easier than when I had to leave my kids every day and teach other people's kids and the kids didn't even want to be there, right? They didn't even want to be there. Like some of them did. And then I would feel bad for those kids because I couldn't give them what they needed because I'm over here making sure that so-and-so doesn't stab the other one with the pencil. Like that's true life in today's um, classroom. So you guys, you have to realize that what we do is so much easier than really anything else I've ever done, but it is work. You do have to actually work and send the messages and do some of the things that you don't want to do to get where you want to be. So, sorry, that was super long. <laughs> no, it's not long. And I think there's just important pieces that you guys will see as people are in longer. There's certain things that we've learned as we've written our story that I think are so important for people to know, like knowing that even if you haven't promoted in a long time, maybe you haven't even promoted yet. That's okay. You guys, there has to be a driving force other than just a pretty promotion behind what you're doing and for you to show up every single day, right? Because you have to think of even Stephanie and Joel Dutt. It's like, 
they've been number one. Like there's not a spot higher than that, right? So for recognition wise, like that's them. They are black diamonds. Like they've, they've hit these ranks. So we all, no matter what rank you're at, and it was kind of funny because Kara and I were talking and I never want to get somebody's story wrong, but I was like, isn't it kind of funny how like rank is amazing because it's an accomplishment, right? And there's numbers that come with that and there's freedom and flexibility and choices that you can create with certain ranks. But truly like when we see people or like when I think of a leader or I think of this, a rank is not associated with that. Like, you know what I'm saying, you guys? So we were laughing because we're like, ranks aren't what they used to be. I mean, they are, but they're truly not as well. So we were kind of like laughing about that, but I think it's important to know that, that there has to be something that is a driving force for you to want to show up other than a promotion, other than a rank that seems so far out of reach. Because you know what, when you're, when you're at a certain rank, like there are presidentials that don't think that like that's enough because they haven't promoted in a long time. Well, guess what? A presidential diamond makes more than my nursing job did. And I was going to be there for 50 years. Like you kind of have to like slap yourself silly a little bit, right? When we like really get out of touch with reality and it's, you guys, that happens faster and easier than we think when we are surrounded by people like we are in this business. Like sometimes you forget what real life is like when you've been like, not, a, not around that. Right. And so um, I absolutely love that you shared that. And it's kind of funny, Kara, I joke with her because I'm like, I feel like we're like kind of the same person, like this weird ESP thing. And again, we're not even on each other's team. So we don't work day in and day out with one another. We just like cheer each other on from afar and all that stuff. But as she's sitting there telling you what she tells her team and like not about quitting or like if you've lost a rank, hey, been there, done that. Did it define me? Nope. Did it stop me? Nope. Can I teach this business and teach people to be successful? Yes, I can. And you know what else I can do is I can also be the hype girl that tells you, guess what? That happened to me too. You're not by yourself. It happens to a lot of people. But what comes after that is so freaking powerful and you are going to be pissed at yourself if you take yourself out of the game and you miss it. If I would have gotten down on myself when I was at Double Diamond for however long, and I was almost, you guys, when I went double diamond, my next month was supposed to be triple diamond, okay? But it actually took me like, a, I think I wrote it down. I think it was like 16 months or 14 or something, whatever it may be, right? But you'll have aha moments that check you into place. And Christmas season was one of those for me. It, like, I'm all down in the dumps over that. And I'm like, wait, I just paid crest cash for Christmas. I didn't have to pick up extra. I could go home when, the sh when we were like, didn't have high or like a high volume of patients, right? And I still had extra. Like that was a huge aha moment for me. And I was like, girl, get over yourself. Like go triple, like find the people who are hungry like you are. So I just want to share, we're going to go into the next thing. But um, I was saying like, we're kind of OGs here, right? And so obviously you guys, we know some people quit before they even start. Do I want that to happen? No, but I'm also not going to quit because somebody else quit, right? And honestly, if you're on here tonight, like take quitting off of the table, because here's the thing. As soon as I did that, my business completely changed. And all I saw was forward. I didn't care what I had done already. I didn't care what had happened. I was like, all I saw was like this forward vision of where I was going to go. And you guys, that is such a fun place and exciting place to be. But it only happens when you finally put like two feet and you're like, this is where I am. I'm, I'm stepping over this line and like quitting is not an option. So guess what happens is you learn, you move forward, you grow, you commit, right? You read books like Kara did. And so the things that like took the wind out of her sails, they don't bug that. They don't do that as much. And not because she enjoys it, but she also knows not to personalize it. Okay. So anyways, we've been here as we've seen our company grow. We've learned along the way. We've watched them pivot. We've had to trust what their decisions decisions are, right? Even if we didn't know all the details behind the scenes, right? We're like, okay, they can see the full picture. We're here to trust what they're doing. And so with that, obviously we have a brand new system, right? This four and a friend. And so Kara, will you just share, because you've been here for different things. You've been here for the steps of success. You've been here like when there's certain things that we don't have now, but will you just share what you love and how powerful this new four and a friend system is that we have? Yeah. Yes. And I love what you said, like uh, Marissa said, you got to take clean off the table. That's so true, you guys. And I love that you said that, Sarah, because you guys, like Sarah said, once you take quitting off the table, it's like, okay, this is your mindset. I'm going wherever, 
Ruby exec or I, whatever you're, you're working on or whatever money goal you have to figure out what really motivates you and I went like Sarah said mentioned that a little bit too it's like you have to have a strong why so if your why sorry I think my connection might not be stable you have to have a strong why always and so anytime my team slows down you guys it's because myself or people like my leaders which I have a lot of them we don't have a strong why right we're all just like I mean, we're just like, it's life's good, right? Like I'm making five figures every month. Like what's my next goal? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, so you have to have a strong why, but you have to keep redreaming. So after you pay, after you pay off your credit cards, like what's next? Like, are you going to do a savings goal? Are you going to buy a vehicle? Are you going to do stuff for your kids' college funds or whatever it is for you? But you have to continue to have a strong why. And when you take quitting off the table, instead of saying like, if I make it here, it's like, okay, this is my mindset for ambassador too. If it takes me five years to go ambassador, like that sucks, but that's my choice. <laughs> so I can either decide like, I'm going to do whatever my next goal is. I'm going to do it in this amount of time, or I'm going to do it in this amount of time. Right. And so if I want to just shorten amount of time, I just, you just do more work. And so you just send more messages, you add to your network more you just go faster. And as you get that momentum, it's like a snowball and it goes faster and faster and faster. And we've seen the company, like Sarah said, go through these spots where it's like 10 times 10 is not a hundred. It's like a hundred thousand. Right. And so when it's not like that, you guys have to trust us that the moment, the momentum like that always comes back when we can't tell you, we don't know. Like, well, you know when it starts, right? And I feel like it's starting right now into the new year. And I feel like we're really going to see that again next year, honestly. But I feel like you have to go through the mud, like, to get to the rainbow, right? You have to just keep going. So pull up your big girl panties and just work as hard as you can or boy panties or whatever. And work so hard right now because what you do right now is how your year is going to go next year. And if you are in a place that you don't love with your business, you can be in a place that you love and you can write out the residual whenever times um, are slower, then it's like, okay, your business is stable enough. It doesn't matter. Because once you get to a certain rank, you guys, whenever it's slower, it's still really good. <laughs> it's still really good. And so you want to get there. So when it starts to go fast, do take all your rest of your commitments off the table that you can start learn to say no to the things you don't want to do anyway and just go faster right just go faster sorry that was another soapbox but i just was reminded that it's such a good reminder you guys it will always speed up it will always speed up okay so four and ones you guys it's so exciting drop a one in the chat if you guys have had your four and one either last month or this month or both I know there's got to be a lot of people because there's a lot of people in here right now who has their four and ones. Yay, Marissa, Emily, Morgan. I'm so excited. Sarah, yay. Okay, so I already got my Christmas cash last month and I'm starting to do number two on my Christmas cash. And you guys, why I love it is because new people can join and they can make a lot of money right out of the gate. And so I have a girl, Jennifer, she's probably on here, but she um, got her foreign ones and then she got her husband's foreign ones her first like two weeks and she earned like $650. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> Just by doing those two simple steps. And so I love it that it doesn't matter if you're new or you're like a veteran like we are, um, you can earn a lot of money and it does not matter your rank. Um, I taught this, Sarah, to my... Uh, I should have pulled it up. I talked it. I didn't really know I was going to talk about it to my team about, um, just like, this is an example. Newbies, if they sign three DTs and do their, they do the four and one. And then those three DTs do their four and one. That's $1,500 plus the $3,500 Christmas cash. You guys, that's $5,000. If you're a double diamond and your average pay is 4,500 and you do this like six four and ones and they do their four and ones then that's $14,500. Do you guys realize that's like a lot of money? <laughs> I think that's like, yeah, over half of what I made as a teacher in a whole year. And you guys, that's unlimited. So you could do it. You could do your foreign ones all this month and earn your Christmas cash and do it again next month too, right? So 
I just am so excited because I feel like it doesn't really matter your rank. It's that's kind of last season. What matters is who's working and who's not. And it's very apparent right now. And I love that. <laughs> yes. And I think that's the, the thing is I love like I love when we can find a place that we know was duplicatable. Um, but I also love having more players in the game. So that's, and I don't even, I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't have said that I'm a yellow, but I think I am. <laughs> I think I'm like, as, a, as I've got more kids, I swear my yellow is just like growing. But I truly do love that because you want to know why though, you guys, because when we see that happening, or like Kara just said, when that new person comes in and they are already winning, even just making, like, like we've talked about many times, even what a Ruby makes, but in weekly payday. So they're not waiting a month to get it. What's amazing is that we can confidently go share this and we can tell that person, like you can make money right now. Like that $300 goal, you could literally make that in two weeks. Like how amazing is that? And not to mention that work, you're actually going to get paid on it like a second time. I love that we can do one thing and we're getting paid more than one time. You guys, I could do the same thing over and over at the hospital. They were not going to offer me Christmas cash, okay? They were also not offering to pay me twice on the same thing. They also weren't like, hey, if you're amazing at mentoring, I mean, I did get a little bit extra, right, to mentor, but they weren't like, hey, you could do all of this, and if you help more people, you get paid more. No, they were like, hey, this is what you get when you're doing that, right? And I still love my job. I wasn't going to leave my job. So it's like, why would we leave here when we're getting offered so much more, right? And so Kara didn't even share with me, first of all, that she has her Christmas cash and she's going for a second one. Can we all like just say congrats in the chat? Because that's freaking phenomenal. And here's the thing that I want to tell you when she shares this, okay? This is why I told you that she's like way humble. That's why I had to like just talk her up a little in the beginning because I knew she would do it herself. She's ridiculous, okay? But here's the thing. When you, I know some of you who are on here tonight are like, you know what? I signed four little customers last month, but I didn't get my DTs. So that's a waste or I'm behind the game or now I'm not going to get my Christmas cash. Y'all, you got to cut it out with that stuff. Okay. Yes, you can. Do you realize you were doing and going for your steps to success in a month? You can still do four and one and do that three times. And the thing is, is if you were actually showing up last month and putting out the messages and it just wasn't their time, your likelihood of actually getting more for one blocks in this month are so much higher. Now, if you haven't put in that work, you gotta, you gotta change your mindset. You gotta make a decision tonight and you need to be like, I'm going to use the rest of October and I'm gonna try to knock out two blocks. Like give yourself a goal. You're the only person that can do that, right? We can want it for you, but ultimately you have to want it for yourself so that way you show up to do these things, okay? So that's the thing that I want to tell you is there are people that are getting this within a month. So, so can you. So you're not behind the eight ball. Your new people, they're, they are capable of getting it in a month as well, right? If you tell them, hey, if you do this, right, you hopped on a Zoom with your new person when you get your one. You do this, you would earn this in weekly bonuses and this in a Christmas cash bonus. Is that something that interests you? Listen, if that's already planted in their head, that's what they're going for. So another thing is, is like when you get your one, don't project your self doubt onto them. Like they're coming in hot. They're excited. They've never done this before. They've never had somebody quit on them. They don't have those things. Okay. So honestly be excited because listen, as they start winning, your excitement grows. And when you know that you can help one person do it, you're like, hot dang, I can help another person do it, right? And I can help that next person do it. And when your one does it, she knows that she can help her next one do it as well. Okay, so remember, I say this all the time. When you have been in this for a while, you cannot project yourself out onto your new people. You need to like literally come from pure excitement because you have no idea what they're going to do, nor do you know the people who are going to join you. So again, we can't prejudge anybody. Okay. Cause I promise you, Kara did not get her Christmas cash in probably 20 days or whatever she did it in by prejudging who this business was for. No, she went in, she hosted, posted probably. I'm not, she's going to share with you how she did this. Okay. But she also offered it. That's her job is to offer it. And so she was doing that and they get to decide if they say yes or no. Okay. So, okay. Now they do all want to know. Let's be real. 
okay? So tell them and share with them how you are getting your 4-1 blocks. Yeah, so, you guys, sorry, my husband's cleaning up dinner, but um, I, that is my, I can go in the other room if it's too loud, but I, um, I, hold on. Hey, will you turn that off? I can get that when I'm done. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> um, you guys, I literally message on Instagram and Facebook and I ask people just if they're interested in the business. So I just say this, I'll just drop it in the chat. Um, I just say, Hey love, are you interested in what I do? If you're loud about what you do, then you should feel a hundred percent. Okay. Asking people that are on your Instagram and your Facebook or wherever you're working your business, if they're interested in what you do, because whenever you're loud and proud about it, you guys, those people, I'm just going to say this, like just attack the beast. It's like, there is no such thing as a cold message. Whenever they're following you, a cold message is like someone you don't follow. They don't follow you. You go to somebody's like friend list and you message a bunch of people. Like we obviously don't do that. A warm message is anyone who follows you. And I warn message all the time. So I just ask people if they're interested in the products and ask them if they're interested in the business, right? If you follow me, you've probably gotten a message, right? Because someone said to me one time, if you don't message your friends, then someone else is going to message them. Not because they're trying to message your friends, but because they're, someone's going to ask them to try the business or the products. And for me, that's enough for me, you guys, to know that I'm going to ask them first because I will be so upset <laughs> if I see people that are using the products and like blowing up the business. Like if someone else signs like the ambassador that I was too afraid to message, like I will, I, that's not happening. <laughs> so you guys, just ask your followers and friends like, hey, are you interested in the products? Hey, I'm looking for some product models is another message I use for the products. I am at old school. I host a post some months and some months I don't, but I always, always enroll three to 10 distributors no matter what. And I also enroll 30 to 50, 60 customers every single month just off messaging and stories. Um, so do what works for you. If messaging doesn't work for you, then you need to do host to post, but you need to do one or the other. Is that okay. good? Or do you want me to go into more? No, detail? that's good. <laughs> do now I already know what some people say. Okay. Cause we always get this too, but Kara, you do not come off as like spammy or all it works. Like that's all you see on your pages or anything like that. So I just want to say, do people come up, come and message you and say, stop spamming me or you're so spammy or like these people who join you are your customers are, I mean, they don't talk negative about you. You know what I'm saying? So have you gotten stuff like that? Because I think that's where people, when they're reaching out, they're so nervous that somebody's going to say that they're spamming them. Right. And that they're so nervous what somebody's going to say, or at the end of the day, people want to be genuine. But what's so funny is like, I had no, I had no idea you guys that that's how Kara built her business. Because if you go to her pages, it's not just all it works up. It's not like product, this product, that it like, it's her family. It's what they do. It's not long drawn out posts either. Right. You guys all know I'm not a huge writer. I always tell people, I'm like, I like to talk to people, but I am not like a writer sure. at all. But that's what that's I want sure. to share that's what I want to share with that. Like, do you get those kinds of messages? Because that's what people are like worried about when they go to message people. Okay. Once in a great while, I will get someone who's recently followed me on Instagram. That's with another company or was with another company. And they'll say, um, I, have you ever thought about my company? Because we don't have to message people or something like to that extremity. And literally what I do is just block and delete their message. Like, I don't have time for that. Um, and sometimes I respond really nicely and I just say, hey, um, thanks for letting me know. I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm asking you cause, because you're following me and this is my business. So if that doesn't interest you, feel free to unfollow. It takes a lot of personal development to get to the point where you're okay with that. I remember when I... I would get a message every once in a while and I would want to crawl under my chair and die. Like I remember at the beginning when I started messaging people, I would be like, 
I am read just thinking about it. Like I would get, like, I would seriously, like I would go back and see if they read the message. Do not do that to yourself. I send messages. I don't look and see if they read it. I don't look and see anything unless they reply, right? If they don't reply on Instagram, I unfollow them. This is my business. No one's going to build it for me. I'm not number 50 something, 52, 53. I don't even know what we are now, but just by setting back and letting people come to me, that's not how this works. So if that's how you're working your business and it's not working, then you have to do something. So you either need to do host to post to the extremity, like get up 10 a day or you need a message, right? And so I know it's scary wise, but it's so worth it because I just look, even on this Zoom, like I can just, let me see if we're on here for my team, but I look at like Brooke who stays at home with her baby now. My sister, Katie Bowen's on here and she stays at home with her baby now. Um, I look at Sammy and she travels all over the world with her husband, literally, and their little boy. And she makes a full-time income. And I look at all these people. I look at Morgan. I look at people that I've enrolled and people that my girls have enrolled. And I just think if I would have been too scared to ask them or ask other people or help them with customers, they would be missing out on so much. I know that sounds like whatever, but it's so true, you guys. If you're not offering this business, then you might be robbing someone of time with their kids. You might be robbing them of financial gain. They, someone is going to bed tonight crying because they can't buy their groceries or they can't put their kid in their sports or like buy them their new basketball shoes or whatever that is. And if you're not asking people, you're literally like, I feel like it's like, so this business is such a gift. And when you look at it like that, it's really not fearful the message because you're going to change people's lives with this. And if you're playing small, you're not only hurting yourself, but you're also hurting other people. And so that's just the biggest tip I have for that, how to get over it is that product wise, you need to find something and you need to love it. I don't care if it's one thing or if it's 10 things, you don't have to like everything, but you have to love one thing. And when you have the belief, when people message you and they say, I tried this 300 years ago and it didn't work. I just say, where do you have your before and after picture? And they're like, no. And I'm like, oh my gosh, ironically, in six years, I've never ever had someone tell me that it doesn't work and they've had their before and after picture. So if you don't take a picture, then how do you even know if it works? <laughs> and so you guys, when you have the belief like that though, you will not be afraid to message because I know the products work and I know the business is amazing. And so you just have to offer the gift over and over and over. Yes. And I love it. So, okay, here's my thing. If you, if you don't do host a post, what do you do, Kara, to just grow your network? You Sorry, I do host a post every once in a while. I'm just very inconsistent with it because messaging works for me. Mm -hmm. And so it works really well for me. And so I try to focus on that. And then if I ever have a month where it's slow, then I'm like, okay, got to host a post. So I don't want to say I never host a post. It's just not like this month. I might have two hosts to post up. I'm not saying do that, but I'm saying if you can message, then do your strength. You know what I mean? Yes. And, and I think that's important to know you guys is like, if something's working for you, don't change it. Cause you've hopped on a zoom and somebody's talking about something else. Rather take that information in and be like, you know what, when maybe you're team member or distributor that's starting what you're doing isn't working for them at least you have another option so my my question though Kara is just for those that maybe host a post isn't working and they're like you know what after they get off this zoom tonight they're like I can message it is not the end of the day right like the people who don't want it you guys you don't want them using your products anyways like you don't want them on your team like they're just going to be a handful <laughs> like I'm going to tell you that right I don't want everybody on my team that's the truth okay but how it, how do you grow your network consistently? Because obviously you are doing that because your enrollment numbers are pretty high, right? And when I say pretty high, I mean high. They're high, guys. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> um, well, thank you. I, you guys, just on, on Instagram, I started with zero followers. I have like 25,000 or 28,000. I don't even know. But the, I grow privately. So my, my Instagram is private. And I mess it or I follow people every single day. So you guys can go to a boutique, you can go to a place that you eat at, you can go to anything, your favorite TV show, 
just click a picture and click on the likes and you guys just follow them. And so if you're private, the beauty of that is that if you accidentally follow someone and they follow you back and you're like, eee, they look sketchy or whatever, just don't let them follow you back and you can unfollow them. That's why I like to go privately. I also gain a lot more followers when I'm private because people are like, who's this? <laughs> and follow me back. However, there, there's like exceptions to everything. I go public when I do reels, like for the day at least, because if you're doing reels, you really want to be public on Instagram because that's like the point of reels, right? Is to grow your following. And if you're not public, then they can't see them. So I do not be afraid to switch back and forth. So I go private, I follow a bunch of people, give it the day. And then if I want to post a reel, then I just go public for that day. So good. And that's how I have grown my. And you guys, I had, like I said, I didn't have Instagram when I started. So if you don't have Instagram, the, the thing I would say that for everyone to take away is that you just need to find something that works. So you just need to be willing to do messaging, post to post, do it all until something starts to work. Right. And then when it works, just do that one thing times 20, like you can just do a lot more of it. And then when that stops working, then do find something else. Right. So like this month I haven't enrolled a distributor, you guys, yet. And so I'm going to work on my second thing, but it hasn't happened yet. Well, then that's on me. That's my fault. So what do I need to do? So I, last night I said to my leaders, Hey, who has a good potential distributor, like zoom that they've watched lately? Cause I need to change what I'm doing. What I'm doing is not working. And so you have like an online business. The only thing that's changing is everything, every single day, every single day. So getting on tonight, good job to all you guys, because you guys are going to learn. Maybe I hope that my prayer is that all you guys take away one thing at least that you can implement into your business that you're not doing and you can start it tonight and it will work for you. So I don't know if Katie or Brooke or Morgan have the message that we send like the gummies one. It's like, hey, I'm looking for some people to try the gummies or cleanse. If one of you guys have that, it's not saved to my computer. Will we, will you drop it in the chat? We have a message and so I would just go to my, if you were like, okay, I want to start messaging. I would go to my Facebook and I would click friends and I would sort by like, just type an A and it will do all your A friends. And I would send them this message and then I would not look at it <laughs> until they say, yes, they want to try the product. And then I would just go through your friends list and I would just keep sending this message. And so I would say, Hey, it's like, I, one of them will drop it. There it is. Hey girl, I was wondering if you'd be interested in being a product model for, and if it's not, if you're not a girl, just say, Hey, however you talk is what you need to say. So like I say, Hey love. So, Hey love, I was wondering if you'd be interested in, in a product model for our brand new slimming gummies with apple cider, blah, 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 blah. Looking for five models this month. Okay. That's what I said. And I don't, I just send it until I get customers. Like there's no like magic number. It's like, what do you do? Whatever it takes. Right. And I prayed about this this morning, so I want to share about, you guys, let's just, everybody pretend like I took your child or your mom, if you don't have a child or someone really close to you, and they were taken from you, and someone said, you have to raise $10,000 to get your child back, right? You would do whatever it took. Like, you would knock on doors, you would ask people, you would borrow money, right? You would, we would every person on here that's a mother, father, whatever, would do, I guarantee you would get the $10,000 because you would do whatever it took to get your child back. This business is, all of you guys can have $10,000 a month, right? You just have to do whatever it takes. And so I can't tell you, like, this is the magic secret. The magic secret for me is messaging, adding to my network, posting. That's, that's my, like, secret sauce, right? But Brooke's secret sauce is TikTok, <laughs> um, influencer applications, post to post, right? And she's one of my top leaders on my team. Her secret sauce is different than my secret sauce, right? But we all have our own secret sauce. And then when one of our secret sauces isn't working, we use someone else's secret sauce. So just be willing to share and ask. Be a really good student because people will tell you our company is amazing. Everyone will tell you exactly what we do. You can follow anyone, you can use people's posts, you can use our stories, you can use our messages, right? But you have to do the work. You have to do the back stuff that no one sees. And one more tip that I'll share. 
don't share things on Facebook. If you're taking someone else's post and you click the share button, it's like the number one killer in a business because it docks your logarithm to the extremity and it's already not working for like a lot, like the majority of people on Facebook anyway. So if you're sharing posts, like click that share button, don't do that. Like screenshot it, make it your own, change the wording up a little bit and you can use things like that. Just don't share anything like the recipes, any of that stuff, just make, like copy it. Or, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I, that's like the number one killer that I see people when people are like, no one's liking my post and I'll go to their page and they have like, all this like it's good stuff content but it's I'm like you shared it and like it's not so people just aren't seeing your stuff and also I go back every week and I delete or archive all my it works posts that are like products just to try to keep my Facebook and Instagram like Sarah said you can't really you can tell what I do but it's not like black green and bling like we used to <laughs> no. <laughs> sometimes I see my own posts there and I'm like what were we doing? <laughs> no, some people on here were so old that they don't, they're like, what's black, green, and bling? I'm like, I know, I know. We have overcome that, okay? And it, guess what, though? Listen, we look back at that and we cringe, but you know what? That worked then, right? Like, that's the cool thing. And I'm sure even five years from now, you guys will look back and be like, we freaking did reels? Or, or like, it will be anything. I'm not saying reels are going away, but I'm just saying, you know, go back to what Kara said. It's like, you do what you have to do to get to where you want to be, right? And, and, and we say that, like, no one's getting hurt in this, in this step. We mean, like, overcoming fears or, like, however many, like, we can't tell you an exact message or an exact number or, like, I have a host of posts maybe that works for some, but other people do it and it's dead. Okay, it's okay. Like, you just have to find what works for you, you know? Um, so no, I totally, I love all those things. And it's just good to know you guys, how people do certain things, right? Because she's obviously doing, and that's the thing. When you go to her stuff, you are going to know that for where, where she's at, what she does in a month, she is doing a lot of behind the scenes work. Okay. So I want those of you who your stuff looks really, really pretty, right? And you're very present. But the thing is, is if that is what you're spending all your time on, you are going to feel like you're getting nowhere. Okay. You have to get like behind the scenes. I tell people this all the time. There are some days that my kids are crazy or I have a sick kid and then my other kids over here. And then I'm supposed to be in this spot. Right. And you may not see me or I may not have a post that day, but you know what? Those are my days, you guys, that I am in my inbox. And so those are some of my highest days of enrollments when you don't see me. Because the thing is, is I'm not going to be like, hold on a minute. I'm not going to enroll this girl because I really need to post today. No, heck no. Like that's what I'm doing is enrolling people. That's what we get paid to do. So you have to remember that portion of things too, is allow yourself, like if you have to pick or choose certain things, I can guarantee you that I would rather be messaging people or sending out invites. Kara is going to be messaging and doing her messages that she's already shared over getting a post up, right? Like she's not going to be, or even now she was talking about, she's going to get this distributor, right? It's not if she's going to get it. She knows she'll get it, right? And she's going to go work for it, but she's not going to sit there. So what is she going to do? She's probably going to share her story. She might share other people's success stories, but she's also going to message. So you can't forget the work that you don't see. Right. And, and I think so many times we forget about that, but we also don't do it because that's the uncomfortable stuff for us. Listen, you got to leave your comfort zone to get to the glory zone. Right. I say this all the time and I say it to myself when I'm like, I don't want to do this. And also I'm like, Sarah, freaking get over it. Like you're, that's so dumb. You know, it's so stupid. Okay. So here's my question with that. And because sometimes we do, like you said, right. There's like, and this is what's funny to you guys. It's like, who gets to define what a cold message is? Like you're listening to her. Karis, like you come off so, ge you're, you are genuine and it comes off that way. I always say like, if you're coming off awkward or you're, or somebody's saying you're pushy, it might be because you're being that, right? You're like, it's okay. Like, and so I, I think the thing too is like, what do you do, right? Because you had to help three people go get there for what? So wh what do you do when your new distributor comes in? How, what can you give these guys for tips of like, how can you guide them or what you're doing to guide them to successfully get there for one in those 30 days? Okay. So I changed this whenever our new structure changed. Um, and all three of my girls have signed 
two of them have signed two people. One of them has signed one. I'm so thankful for that. But, um, and now those people are starting to sign people. So what I changed, what I was doing, training distributors is not working anyway. So now I, when I sign a distributor up the next day, I get them on the phone. So I just say, Hey, what time works best for you tomorrow? I just want to go over a few things so I can make sure that I'm like best helping you and you know what to do. And it'll only take like five minutes, right? Even if we talk for an hour, I just always say it's just going to take like five minutes because people are like, oh, okay, I can like spare five minutes. But if I'm like, I need a 30 minute time slot, people were like, no, nah, not having it, right? And so I get them on the phone the next day. And all I say is, okay, I'm so excited for you. You're going to like start either with a post about a product or you can start a post like, hey, this is what I'm up to now. So if you see my stuff coming up, like it's me, like whatever. Um, and I let them choose. And then I just kind of like send them some examples and say, okay, when we get the phone, you're going to just post one or the other. And then when you get comments, just let me know. And I'm going to walk you through it. And then I send them, we have like a telegram link um, for it works. I'm sure you guys have it. If not, Sarah, you can let me know, but where you can join those like Facebook stories and posts or Instagram posts, you know what I mean, what it is, yep. like all the content. And so I send them that and I say like download this app and this is all that there's tons of content so you can use whatever. And then when you have comments, when people are interested, just let me know. So I say your first goal is just to get four customers. And I explain what a little customer is and a friend. And so you can do that in any order, but that's your first goal. And then when you have that done, you're going to get your $150 and then we're going to teach your friend how to do the same thing. And you're going to earn another 350. And I just say, do you have any questions? So I really keep it beyond simple now because I used to have like, 21 steps to train <laughs> like all this stuff no it's like okay just get your four and one and then we'll move on right and so then the next day I'm just like oh hey here's a post idea for the day um and then I go to their wall and if they haven't posted I'm like hey would you rather post about like hair skin and out because sometimes the girls are younger and so like if I send them gummies then they just won't post and I'll be like oh would you rather post about hair, skin, and nails? And they're like, sure. You know, you just have to kind of like walk at people don't at their pace and make it more about them and less about you. And then they're going to be really successful. So I think you guys, I think too, is when you have that expectation and you plant that seed, like this is your business, but we have all the tools you need to succeed as fast as you want to, or to make as much as you want to. I think that's so good because the truth is you guys with a huge team, you, no one should be expecting. And I want to tell you guys, like we didn't even have half of these tools. Right. And we still somehow came up with our own green, black and bling posts. Like I'm not joking. Okay. So like we didn't have those things. So I do think sometimes we like overthink what we have, or we're almost scared to bring people into this business because we're like, holy crap, we feel like we don't even have time to work our own, right? And if you feel that, like put a one in the chat because we have full plates. And I will tell you, no matter if you're working a full-time job, if you're doing this on the side, if you're a mom, you guys, we, we will ultimately fill our plate no matter what it is we're doing, right? And so I just want you to know that the more that you show people that they actually have control of this and you just go over the things that we need to do, if they can start taking control, what happens is that you can duplicate so much faster. But we have to like let them know that they're in the driver's seat. And I think so many times we're, and yes, we are. Like I say the same thing. I want to help you with every conversation at first because the thing is, is, I'm not going to be timid because I know I've had these conversations. So let know that when the conversations start, it's like, they're going to be having them with me, but you're, I'm going to let you send it. And we're going like, you're going to learn while you're doing, but I want you to start earning right away. When you teach them that they're like, hot dang, I'm going to go post. Like they know how to post. Like people are already posting without doing this business. The part that they're most nervous about is the conversation is the information that they don't know yet. Right. And the only way for us to get them to be confident is that in that is to start having them to start using the products like Kara said, right? You, you don't have to love every product, but I can tell you by switching out the products in my auto ship, I have found literally over 10 products that I love and use every single day. 
Okay. But it didn't just say like, oh, this is what was this. Like and my body, even 10 years from now, from when I first started is a whole lot freaking different than when I started. Like I didn't need the rap when I started. Now I've had three kids and I'm like, yeah, I freaking love the rap. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> right. So there's certain things that you guys, each season is going to serve you differently. But I think that's so important when you are coming in to bring somebody, you have to know that you are not just because you enroll them and you're their mentor and you're going to help them. It does not mean that you are running their business. Okay. So just like allow yourself to like get that off your shoulders and take that responsibility away and know that you are going to be here to cheer them on. You're going to be here to answer questions. And if you don't know the questions, somebody else does. Like that's, that's the God honest truth. Okay. But we do have all those really cool tools like the telegram and all those types of things that people can use. And you guys, that's incredible. And the truth is if you're on here and you're on telegram and you're really good at writing posts or you're really good at creating stories, go throw them on to share them. Like the things that your leaders are doing right now to help your team know that you can give back to other people's teams too. Right. And that, then you're just going to get blessed tenfold. So I always say like, we are so much better together and it is cliche or not it's honestly the god honest truth so i mean that's why we even have like you've learned a ton from kara tonight so have i and it's like ultimately we are all doing the same things right we're going for the same goal so um last thing you guys we the family call is starting in like a minute okay so i'm gonna let her go but if there is one piece of advice kara that you could give or you want to leave them with in pushing them to complete and earning their christmas cash what would it be Okay, so first I would say you guys need to get, if you're like religious, I am, and it's like pretty, oh, I'm pretty open about it, but I wasn't super religious when I started this business. I'm always, I've always been a Christian, like grown up in church and things like that, but you guys, if you're religious, I highly recommend that you pray and you just ask God what he wants you to do with this and that that will give you enough strength to like send the messages or be the host to post or whatever you know, every single person on here knows exactly what they're not doing. It's like that little voice in your head. That's like, you should do this or you should do that. And you push it away and you're like, I'm scared, not today, whatever. And so I would say, um, pray. And then also you guys know your why, you know, why you're really, really doing this. The one that you don't want to tell anyone because it's like cut so deep. Right. And then the third thing is that, um, most importantly, you guys be so grateful. Every time you enroll a customer, I teach my team this too. You just say like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cause like God gave you that person, right? And then take really good care of them. And then whenever you get a distributor, the same thing. I say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And so when my leaders, if they're like, I'm not enrolling customers or distributors, I say, you pull up your, and I have ambassadors that come to me and they're like, I need a coaching call. I'm like, no, you don't, but okay. <laughs> and so like, um, I have several. And so I'll get them on a call and I'll be, they'll be like, I'm not really I'm like, well, A, you're saying that. So stop saying that. Say I'm an enrolling machine and you will be right. I'm an DT and LC enrolling machine. And then you pull up your e-suite and you search like loyal customer or distributor. And you look at all the people that you've enrolled and you just say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what you need to say it three times. I don't know what it is. Just my husband calls it my voodoo, but, and then you'll get more because God will always give you more of what you're grateful for, but you have to be so thankful. I don't care if your volume is 20 or if it's 20,000 or if it's 200,000, if you're not grateful for your $200 paycheck, you're not going to be grateful when it's $20,000, right? You have to be grateful for every single thing and God will multiply it when you a expect it be you're grateful for it and see, just keep praying about it and doing the things that he's telling you, you need to do. So I don't know if that's helpful, but that's what, that's my best advice. <laughs> no, I absolutely, absolutely love that. And I just want to say thank you so much for taking time out. You know, I have to share with you guys something she said that is just so funny. She was like, um, we were talking about it and we kind of just, I feel like we know this is the other thing. Don't feel bad when you can't get back to a message right away. Like in my mind, I would never want somebody to put my message before their family. Right. And if somebody does like, just be like, bye. Okay. But it was so funny. Um, I was talking to her today and I just wanted to make sure, cause obviously life is crazy and busy and sometimes we can forget when we're doing things that we're not used to doing. But she was like, you know what? I don't, com she's like, I don't commit to a lot. And you guys, 
that's important. And she even shared that in the Zoom tonight. She was like, don't overcommit, and especially to things that aren't going to help you to get to, get you to where you want to be. Like, she's a busy mom of four. She's not here to just do constant Zoom. She's not here just to run other people's businesses for them, right? She's teaching her new people. And so I think that's also important is, you guys, boundaries are good. You know, she was like, I don't commit to a lot of these things, but she's like, I'm also not a flake. But you know what, you guys? Not only you do you need to, like, is that such a good thing, right? When you commit, you're doing it, but you need to do the same thing for yourself. Like if you're committing to something, stop flaking on yourself, right? And also get rid of the things that you're like, you know what, right now, like, yeah, I, I enjoy doing that, but I could also go without it because I would rather have this. Like sometimes you just have to prioritize a little bit. And again, I know that we've naturally probably done that in this business. And you guys, the what you reap from doing that doesn't suck. Like, you don't look back. Instead, you're like, dang, that was so good. Like, or, or you really truly find things that you're like, I really don't. I'm not going to probably put that back into my life. And that's okay. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, thank you so, so much, Kara, for sharing everything tonight. I know people have learned so much. If we can just thank her in the chat too. Um, did you want to say one more thing? Oh, I was just going to say what you said. It was, I wasn't always like that, you guys, but someone said, if you don't, can't keep a promise to yourself, then who can you even keep a promise to? And for me, that hit like a sword because I would say, yeah, I'll do this and yeah, I'll do that. And then I was exhausted. I was tired. I didn't always do everything. I would be like, oh, I can't actually come now or whatever. And I stopped. And if you just stop, like just only tell yourself the truth. So if you say, I'm going to do it, get a customer and a distributor this month, then you better do it, right? Like only make a promise to yourself that you can keep. And when you start to believe yourself, you guys, then your confidence in this business and everything in life, it kind of just comes together. And so I love that you mentioned that because I wasn't always like that. And so if that's where you are, then you just need to only make promises that you can keep to yourself. And it's better to under commit than over promise. So anyway, yeah. thanks Sarah. It was fun. Bye. Thank you.